All right, guys, all things we know now with the big data of Cultist Circle Spreadsheet. I've been working on this for a couple of days, actually three or four days, every day streaming 12 hours. I'm going to tell you guys what I've learned and what we've learned with the community and what kind of things we gathered and what can we show you guys. Anyways, let's start checking it out. I have some things I need to mention before I actually start the thing though. Let's touch the part where I need to tell you guys first. Basically, what we know 100% is definitely what BSG said, right? What BSG said about the cultist circle. Let's check that one out quick. Well, before that, let's actually tell you guys this. Jump around the chapter to check out the part you guys want to know. Anyways, I will talk about everything we need to check so you guys can understand why I became with the conclusion or the big data what I got. I will explain every single thing on this video. Anyways, let's first check the new hideout zone cultist circle patch note 0.15 first. You can sacrifice up to 5 items to the cultist circle. The value of each sacrifice item is added up. That part is actually important. This total determines the value of items received as a gift from the cultist. That one is also pretty important. The cultist cannot deliver items while you are in the hideout. This part, you don't have to actually do a raid or something. You can just restart the game and then it will bestow you the gift, the cultist. If the value of a single sacrifice is above a certain threshold, there is a 25% chance to receive items needed for active tasks and unfinished hideout zones. This part is the most important part and then what we can do about the speculations that we are doing or the big data or whatever. For instance, if the value threshold is 100k, if you hit that 100k threshold, you have a 25% chance of receiving items. So if you put in like 150k, you will still have 25% of chance to get active task item or the hideout item, hideout construction item. So even though you put in 1 million, there's 25% chance of you getting just random, you know, moonshine or random intelligence, even though you want like red key card. I haven't seen a red key card yet, but anyways, that's how it works. So you gotta be aware of that. But I'll tell you quick, it does seem like if you put in a lot of items, a lot of high values, then it will give you a lot of active task items lot of hideout drone items not only one or two maybe even fulfilling the whole task or whole hideout drone construction the value of sacrifice items is further increased by the bonuses from sacred amulet and then the hideout management skill the hideout management skill is a little bit difficult to understand and then estimate so i kind of excluded that part there are some people who mastered hideout management skill on pve so it might add up a little but i excluded that part so I'm mentioning that as much as possible so you guys don't misunderstand. Don't misunderstand. Sacred Amulet is an end game item, so you don't really have to care about it. After Lightkeeper and after certain tasks, you can unlock it. I already have a video about it. Maybe I'll put it on the right top corner. But the Sacred Amulet will have certain usages as it already has spent. As far as I know, it's like seven rays you can use, so I bet you can use it for seven times only for sacrificing the items. It's supposed to boost the value of the sacrificed items but the problem is i don't think it's doing it for now or there's some issues with this because if you actually go to the hideout and check out the cultist circle and then put in the cultist amulet sacred amulet it doesn't show anything like the percentages or whatever right here there's a total bonuses to the gift zero percent and then if you put in something in there the sacred amulet is going to be zero percent again so I don't think these are working out properly or we cannot vividly check or it's just too complicated. So I kind of exclude this part and I do not recommend you guys to actually use it. There was a little problem with the players who have purchased the Unheard Edition will have the Cult of Circle built instantly. PvP, everybody had it instantly, but PvE, they need to construct themselves, which was super weird. I think they're doing something, they're not doing much on the PvE. But anyways, there was the whole patch note they did on point 15 there's another one which is this one list of changes it was on one of the patch notes that bsgs did it says added more rare rewards including certain key cards and marked keys for large sacrifices in the cultist circle zone 
in the hideout, which kind of started to give you guys Martum keys and excess key cards and color key cards, which was nice. But at the same time, if you put a lot of stuffs in, it sometimes gave you 14 hours to wait, but nothing resulted out. I think it was, it's a bug. I don't think it's an RNG stuff that, that you get nothing for some reason. Maybe cultists rob your stuff. It can be that, but personally, I think it's a bug. That is supposed to give you something, but you know, it's PSG again. They effed up something. Now we're going to talk about Occultist Circle recipe first. What is the recipe is that? I actually wrote it down here. There's a certain combination or just a sacrifice that you can use to get a certain reward completely 100%. But they are all one usage. After once, they are just calculated for with the value of the item, not the item's identity itself. Another thing is that more than one will still result the same recipe as far as I understand. For instance, one killer helmet is supposed to be one killer full mask, but if you put in two for the first time, it will give you one killer full mask. So you're wasting one killer helmet. So it's not that good to do that. Use one one uh, item for the recipe. As far as I understand, it's only one item per one resultant recipe, except the cultist five figurines, which we will talk about. And it won't be repeated, as I said, because it's only once usage. Another thing is that the recipe will show indication through its countdown time which is 6 minutes 66 minutes 666 minutes for recipes which will result in 100% sacrifice exchange a certain reward i forgot to tell you one thing results of recipe always is fir found in raid that's what like one of the most important reasons why would people use the cultist recipe or whatever and another thing, this is kind of a speculation. Reverse of the recipe's result doesn't work, in my opinion, and will mostly likely just calculate with the value of item. For instance, if you put in a Ledex, you actually result in blue folder. But blue folder, if you put that back in, it will be just a random item, no recipe for it. I've seen that pattern from a lot of situations, so I recommend you guys to not try to find a recipe for a Ledex for or putting in a blue folder and expecting something to happen whenever you find a recipe. So if you guys want to find a recipe, do remember that part, what I just mentioned, and do tell me if you guys want to in the comments if you found anything. I'm trying my best to share the info, why not share your info too, guys. So I guess I'll show you guys the short video that I made real quick for the all the recipes. Basically, it's all the figurines, except a couple of them, and then some unheard related items, Bitcoin, Statics, and Relaxation Key, and Dundalk Glasses. After that, we didn't find anything else. Killer figurine result in Killer Full Mask, which is 66 minutes. All the figurines are same as far as I've seen, except a uh, multiple combination of it. Tegila figurine will result in 66 minutes. Rilla Mask or Ubey Mask, or Ushala figurine will result in Golden TT with 66 minutes. Mutkebish figurine will result in 3 vodka. After 66 minutes, Reezy figure will result in sugar and observers after 66 minutes. Scat figurine will result in scat backpack or scat best, two of them in 66 minutes. Cultist figurine will result in spooky skull mask after 66 minutes. But what's interesting is that putting cultist figurine, five of them will result in cultist knife, 666 minutes. Bear figurine, it will result in Grizzly Mad after 66 minutes. Usec figurine, it will result in Usec Trooper Armor after 66 minutes. Dem figurine will result in Beard Oil or Beard, beard after 66 minutes. Kappa container will result in Waste Pouch or Fanny Pack. Unheard Gamma will result in EOD Gamma after 6 minutes. BTC Bitcoin will result in 2 Green Batteries and 2 Tetris after 66 minutes. And then Ledex will result in blue folder after 66 minutes. Relaxation key will result in Moonshine after 66 minutes. Thunder glasses will result in Excel Parrot after 66 minutes. Which is kind of interesting because Thunder is also a streamer and Excel Parrot is also a streamer. So there might be something related to streamers. I tried almost everything, but it didn't really result in anything. I tried the glasses. I have list of me tried out items too i might as well actually write it down all the way here yes actually i i write i wrote it down here tried and failed recipes 
I have a lot more to add here, I'm pretty sure. There's a lot, you guys can check that one out if you want to. So those were the recipes. And I think I covered that enough. I think I should move on to the next topic, which is community driven results to find the threshold and the patterns. So what I did here was, as BSG has said, value of a single sacrifice will become a threshold, right? I still can't quite pinpoint out what the threshold is, but at least with the big data, I can tell you the optimized or the most cost efficient way to use an item to get the um, threshold done, which I will tell you in a second. What I did to compare the fans values of items was kind of different from flea market. There's like Tarkov market or like other like on Tarkov wiki. There's like multiple other places using like a value of a trader or an item. Basically their idea is selling the item to the trader and then it will show you how much it is. But, but the problem is every item has different prices to every different traders. But what is interesting about fence is that fence will buy everything the cheapest way and he will buy almost every single thing except like a couple of things such as like stream item case you guys can get right now. But you get the point why I chose him as a, as a criteria. Also another thing what's interesting about him is that depending on your reputation of fans, the value of items alter. We kind of tested it real quick with a slim diary. If somebody has 1.25 reputation, it was 29K, some whatnot. 2.4 reputation, it was 31K. 5.6 reputation, 33K. But after above six, it will stay on value of 35.5, which also was same for me, even though I have six rep and that guy had 14 rep, we got 35.5K value. Why I'm saying this is, um, uh, there's a pretty good point here again. After six reputation from fans, there's no benefits. Some people are still adopting on me on that. But as far as I know, there's no more benefits. Anyways, after six rep, the values of the items will be pinned out. No more changes. So due to that, I used six rep fence market to choose the criteria of the value of items. And... There's a lot of results. I'm still filling it in. So what we consider here to find out the community driven result to find the threshold and patterns is that we consider the fans values of items after six rep and number of items, how many things you put in and amulet, yes or not, just in case it works. I think it's not working and the countdown timer, which is a really important value and then results. And I commented some things on the right. If you guys want to read it, you, can, you guys can read it. Anyways, I'll show you guys the interesting results of it. Surprisingly, a lot of SSD, five SSD put in was reported and five Slim Diaries or other intelligence items or the five SKS, which I recommend you guys to use it for the cost efficiency or the five Paka. Due to that, I think it happened a lot and multiple other stuff that people did with like random combinations. It's so hard to estimate the value sadly. So it was difficult for me to track it down. I might have to more systemize this. But anyways, for now, for now, I'll share you guys what I know of. First, you guys might think, hey, maybe they just posted the coolest results only. How is this gonna be valid? Which I understand and I agree. But even though you consider that 5SSD has the most report. Due to that, I think 5SSD is in a pretty good condition to actually talk about or the slim diaries and i will talk to you about the um, countdown timer and the results on it first of all 14 hours is the max countdown timer as far as i understand as you guys can see 14 hours from ssd has occurred like half of the time on slim diary oh it occurred a lot actually and also Five set stripes because five items are the maximum items you can put in. Five set stripes, 14 hours occurred a lot again. 14 hours, 12 hours. There are six hours, which I will mention a little bit later. Six hours is pretty particular. I already covered it in the last video, but anyways, 14 hours. And then five SSD has given us six hours and the 14 hours a lot. Some of the parts are blank because not everybody reported the how many hours it took. 14 hours result in Egan Intel. K by inner key, green battery MGT, not that great, but S12 GPU, sand tape key, red rebel, 
on the bare grain and launcher s12 gpu by the key card mgt xl for slim diary xl martorm key and the mgt yellow key card rbp kpm rbbk asa bitcoins or on the bare grain and launcher sas sas um military power filter asa red rebel and fp100 yellow key card tank battery sas drive you can already see most of the 14 hours are pretty good results and i'm pretty sure all these good results such as march dorm key or the gpu yellow key card violet key card yellow key card i'm pretty sure they were also 14 hours so if it's 14 hours showing your countdown time it's very likely you're gonna get a good stuff but the more important stuff is that there's occasions that gives you six hours six you guys remember they were doing something with a recipe about six minutes 66 minutes 606 66 minutes the demonic number i mentioned this like 50,000 times anyways six hours means from the patch node you hit the threshold and you got the 25 percent chance winning which means you will get active task items or unfinished hideout zone items you can see the proof here six hours he got the moon he got the hideout items this one it looks like it's not but i'm like 99 sure he didn't make a scab case which will require three moonshine and he got two moonshine and this one is definitely the military power filter that he needs for the hideout and sometimes it adds up with like some other items sometimes this guy got the quest item that he needed for sgc 10 and the vertex this guy got gpu access key card tank battery all of them are quest items as far as i remember he didn't write down the hours i'm pretty sure it's six hours again all these items also especially two flash drives three small to shanka all quest items i'm pretty sure it was six hours but he didn't report all, all these four of them more proofs that six hours result in the um, quest items or the hideout items such as this one bad habit perfect quantity of the variety five cigarettes this guy got with the five ssd six hours another six hours to get the vodka and four pepco and um hit the threshold you know what i'll tell i'll show you guys real quick here actually if you guys look at this guy four says bpx six hours and you can literally see the uh, ha um quest related check marks right there or this guy five ssd six hours he got the check marks yellow ones that he needs for the quest and another this guy six hours and then the check marks so six hours indicates that you will get quest items or the hideout items if you get some random items it doesn't have a yellow mark it's very likely gonna be the future needed hideout upgrade items which is very likely gonna be scab case scab case required items such as these ones where is moonshine and then intelligence center which will require you intelligence folders for the level two secure flash drives or all these items bpx you randomly get bpx by getting six hours too i'm pretty sure that it's because you're gonna get intelligence center level three one it doesn't matter if you have intelligence at all or intelligence level one or two it will just give you the future items you need it's kind of weird how they made it like that but that can be also proven why i'm saying this is based on people were getting christmas balls before the update but now this you know completely removed so they were just giving away the items that even though you're not ready prepared to build they were just giving you the hideout items uh another thing is bitcoin ones which is bpx again for the bitcoin you need the bpx cpu fans i don't think they give you cpu fans because it's a common item so they try to not give you these it, it kind of feels like it. i've never seen a guy getting cpu fans except the quest item and military power filters a lot of people are getting that and uh pressure gauge gauge people are getting that a lot electrical motor people are getting that a lot and the tank battery people are getting that a lot through six hours so that's the six hour reason why i'm talking about if you get six hour you will get a hideout item or the quest item okay so tldr is just put in five ssd in my opinion or five slim diary actually five slim diary looks better for aiming for the higher goal for better items because there's a lot of 14 hours i'll keep updating this as much as possible so you guys can check it out i'll pin on the comment 
what the result was of the spreadsheet so you guys can see it whenever you want. I don't know if I'm gonna update this every time, but I'll try my best. And SSD seems like it's hitting a lot of threshold. You can see it right here. Quest items or the hideout items. Slim Diary is giving you the 14 hours for the better results. So you can kind of aim around what you want. If you want like better items, high return, maybe 14 hours with the Slim Diary. If you want hideout items and the quest items, go for the SSD. I'll keep stacking up the big data. And if you don't care about too much, you just throw in like SKS and you can get like okay-ish items, 12 hours. But by looking at the big data, I think it's definitely SSD or Slim Diaries. Oh, one of the things I should mention though, the threshold is kind of hard to estimate in my opinion. Because even though threshold on SSD based on fans value at 6 rep is 200k, and it's hitting the threshold a lot. But even at SKS, which is only 85k, it hit the threshold. I've seen that happening, it was 6 hours I'm pretty sure. And this guy only put in 5 Paka and 65k and he got he hit the threshold again. Killer figurine, 5 of them. Oh, how much would that be? That would be like 200k. Okay. Even very cheap items were hitting the threshold. That's why I was a little bit confused. 100k was hitting the threshold. You can kind of see it. So I'm a little bit confused about the threshold. I'm guessing it's 100 to 200k between maybe 150k. If the big data more stacks up, I think we will find the value which will help you to navigate through the flea market to buy an item and then, you know, sell it using the uh, cultist circle rather than just, you know, throwing in 5 SSD because maybe 5 SSD is going to get expensive, obviously. So yeah, guys, that's what I can cover until now. I, I have uh, tons of other infos I can share too, but I think that's enough to cover the most important stuff. So yeah, guys, what do you guys think about this information? Do you guys like it? I spent a lot of time on it and um, I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these kind of contents, please leave a like. And also, if you guys want these kind of information as quick as possible, put on the notification button on. If you want to check me out on live stream, check out Twitch and YouTube stream, which will be on the bio link on the screen. Especially Twitch stream right now, you will get a streamer item case if you give the sub or do a sub yourself. Prime sub doesn't work sadly. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys. Bye bye. Say bye, YouTube, guys. Bye, YouTube. Anyways, thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, uh, I'll edit that after the stream though. Holy Jesus, I talked a lot. My bad, guys. I wasn't reading the chat too much. I'm gonna scab again because I'm a psycho. Nailed it. <sighs> but what I'm worried about is BS just gonna change the shit out of it. He'll be like, oh, oh, Brain Bash get found some stuff. I don't want him to be. <laughs> I don't want him to be better. <laughs> and then they changed the whole thing, the recipe and everything. I hope they don't do that. And they'll be like, in the inner mind, they BSG will do that. But on the surface, they'll be like, oh, well, you know, randomness is more fun. You know, secrecy is more fun. We're funny guys. We're having fun.